Thermocell hack that I learned recently. Um, these are uh, the refill packs that come with the butane and the uh, bug repellent pads are very 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 expensive um, but I did uh, do some research and I found that you can buy uh, packs of a hundred of these um, they're half the size so you would actually have to put two in your thermocell uh, to get the same effect and I, I believe it they last a little bit longer like that um, and of course uh, these non-refillable butane canisters um, and I just recently learned that Thermacell made them so you can't refill them so I'm going to show you how you can oh and by the way a uh, hundred of these pads on eBay and on the, on the internet uh, about fifteen dollars and that includes shipping um, that's about the same or not even enough to buy uh, a refill pack that comes with four of these and I think eight of these so with that I'm going to show you and like I said this is all at your own risk um, and your own research I would definitely check into it um, I did um, the only thing that Thermacell did was this is a normal butane fill port but underneath it they put a one-way check valve um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pull the check valve out put this port back in and then we're going to refill it with a normal butane can okay so with that you'll need a pair of needle nose um, try not to mar up the brass what I do is I try to get underneath the o-ring that's in there I don't know if you can see that we can edit accordingly okay so I try to grab with the needle nose right underneath the brass and then try to use it like a nail puller and just wiggle it back and forth try not to mar up the brass if you do it's okay just be careful of the o-ring so with this just kind of wiggle it back and forth okay and you'll see it's starting to come up well it was let me switch hands now of course you younger guys that have a better grip than this old man's arthritic hands this will be an easy task so you see it's starting to wiggle off right and it's a pressed in fitting and once you get it out it might pop or hiss or release what's in there so that's your fitting right there and as you can see oh, let me see if I can get this out of the way as you can see it's just a pressed in butane valve okay now down inside here and I don't know if you'll be able to see it there's a like a rubber o-ring in there and all you need for that is a sharp enough screw that'll grab hold of that um, I use a, a, a sheetrock screw and I put it right in there push down a little bit give it a couple of turns until it grabs grab your needle nose now if there is any gas left in here it will escape once you pull this okay and got it halfway out let me run that down in there a little bit more let me see if I can get a better bite with a screwdriver oh yeah there we go all right some people do this with a claw hammer on the screw to pull the valve out sometimes the valve is very very obstinate and like this one is we'll go 
down there a little bit more. It's coming up, but we'll get it out here in a sec. Here we go. All right. And there it is. And that's all that is, is a one-way check valve. Okay. So, we can take that off. That's what it looks like. All right. So now we're going to take the original fitting and we're going to press it back into that hole. Okay, hard surface. And give it a little shot. This table is very springy. Let me see if I can get that. All right. And we've got the valve back in place, right? Now we can go ahead and get a can of butane. Um, inside the cap are all the different adjustable fittings. Find the one that works for you. And it's going to be a tricky fit. Ah, this might not be the right tip there we go and as you can see we're starting to put fluid in there no leak and it's just a matter of like I said finding the right fitting and this one is slightly off but like still making the connection and there we are about three quarters full right there and of course if it was leaking you would see the the frost starting to develop and there you have it all right and that's it now what we'll do later on tonight is you know what we'll do it right now we'll go ahead and we'll put this into the thermocell Get it seated, put the cover on, turn it on, and I don't know if you could see in there, but it is lit. There we go with the orange, and we'll, and there we go. Of course, if it had a leak, it wouldn't light or it would run erratically. Um, we didn't see any frost coming out after we filled it up. I don't push my luck. I, I fill them up about three quarters of the way, is, which is where they usually are uh, brand new. Um, and now for the cost of a screw, a pair of needle nose, and a can of butane, I can refill probably five, six, possibly more uh, of the uh, cartridges and with that I'm gonna go ahead and leave you um, we do have some more episodes planned um, and we'll try to get that going around uh, around the schedule for uh, appointments with the VA all right and with that get outside get in the field try to have fun and remember love one another